got down to 400 grit that's basically as good as I'm gonna get it you can see the it reflects not the best but once I wash it get the oils and stuff off of it it'll be pretty good so yeah what I'm gonna do now this place becomes a mess so quickly what I'm gonna do now is I am going to heat these up this and the cross guard I'm going to heat them up and rub them down with a candle what I'm hoping to do is uh, darken them because the acid didn't do anything I almost made it cloudy rather than what I was hoping for I'm, I've looked at uh, you know gun bluing would give me what I want but I don't have that at my disposal so instead I'm just gonna do wax oh wait no 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 actually first no 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 I'm not gonna use wax I'm gonna use some car oil some used car oil black stuff hold on I got the tools out there Got the bucket full of it. Well, paint bucket. Paint can. That's full of black, nasty car oil. Mm mm mm. That's weird. Just kind of. Uh oh. There we go. Not sure what that was. Oh wow. Wow, okay, that darkened up. Didn't realize that. See, I will get this relatively dark. I'll heat it up as much as I can with this torch. Since this is pretty thick steel, it might take a while. Actually, gotta cool this down water now. If I can. Sometimes the oil doesn't allow it. There we go. Nice and dark compared to what it was. That's pretty much what I want. Actually, what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna coat it with wax. I'll heat it up again. But. Uh, you guys could probably see it. Doesn't have to be heated up much for the old wax to melt. So yeah, there we go. Oh, if I had a pair of pliers, if I had a pair of pliers, that'd be better. There's the wax. Oops. Well, 
I just dropped the I just dropped it in the water. All right. Well, now I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one, and we'll be back with the final assembly. Okay. So now it's time for the final fitting. I've got the pommel and the cross guard all darkened. The tang is ready. What I've done here is I've cut in. I've cut into it in a couple places. As you can see, that's just for the epoxy to get a better grip on it. Now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to Gonna mix up some epoxy. Pretty simple stuff. Put the two in, mix them together, and yeah. Yeah, I'm not using any pins here, so epoxy is kind of important. A too much epoxy is better than too little, but I've got more, so I haven't. I'm not really making a whole lot, so I'm just spreading it all on the tang here. I get a feeling that a lot of it's going to squish out, but that's where these um, the cuts come in. They help make sure that. The epoxy sticks to something. So the cross guard. I don't know which way it's supposed to go on. So let's test. Okay, that's that's the way it's supposed to go on. So now it's on. Now the cross guard. I mean, now the handle itself. I say cross guard. It's not cross guard at all. So there we go. Oh hey, most of the epoxy stayed in. Squishing it down. Gonna give it a little tap. There we go. It's pretty good. And now let's get a little epoxy on the bottom. Bottom here. I may have to mix up a little more. Let's see. There we go. Wait, that's not right. Oh gosh. There, that's right. Now I'm going to get the cross bean hammer and squish that over. Got the cross bean hammer. So now. Oh man. But it is peening over, which is good. There we go. Dang it. Got got scratched up. Darn it. The vice worked too well. So here's the final product. It looks a lot like the picture that he sent. You can see the edge pretty straight pretty shiny there are a couple spots and I suppose I could put another layer of oil on it but it's basically finished 
And this is one of the sharpest knives I have ever made. I spent some time sharpening it and good grief. So I've, it's a little hard to see because my hairs are pretty, pretty white, but look at that hair. <laughs> oh, a lot of awesome. Yes. So hopefully my friend will enjoy this. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching it. And we'll be back in another video. Thanks for watching.